Can I just say that the, the, the clothing industry was here in, in, in Lancashire. It then, um, in my lifetime, because I started off as a fashion student at Hollins College, do, um, going into what was called the rag trade in, in England in the early um, 80s. By the time I get to 2000, there's actually virtually no rag trade left in this country. Nowhere where machinists are sitting down and actually making stuff up, because everything is actually done mass abroad, produced, mass produced in cheaper countries, because it's still cheaper to import those things yeah. than to actually make them here okay, in England. I, um, I saw an article recently on Granada where they had a woman from Lancashire going to Sri Lanka and you saw how the industry over there, the clothing industry is predominantly in, in Sri Lanka mm -hmm. and the lifestyles mm -hmm. and the changes that have taken place for the people has actually helped their infrastructure and their economy but they're now saying that Sri Lanka is too expensive mm -hmm. to produce the clothing and they're looking for another alternate and um, where the where the economy and the money is worth nothing to actually produce the and, that's what and so that will constantly constantly it's a green, be going that's on. what I'm saying it's a green industry um, that's why what you were saying before about things will never change I can kind of see where you're coming from with that because if it's if it's a um, whole structure what's been in place for how many hundreds of years in terms of you know we want to get the most amount of money we can for the least amount of um, output in terms of whatever I want the least to leave my pocket but the most to come in well, it's, it's business, isn't it? yeah but so yeah obviously it's business what I'm saying like it's gonna it's gonna take a massive change for for that whole mentality of greed in terms of I'm gonna give up what I've got to give someone else the opportunity so to rise up the ladder. So, so I, I believe that the question was about the revealing histories. So even through doing this project and looking at some of the artifacts, you can see the equivalence to the slave trade that has taken that took place over um, how many years ago? Four hundred years ago. Um, um, and in fact, not four hundred years ago because when we went to, do you remember we went to the um, the, the cemetery in Jamaica where our grandparents were laid yeah. and we worked out the date from when one of our great grandparents died to um, um, when the slave trade ended which was seven years so one of um, one of forty, yeah. Wow. Um, so one of the great great grandparents, their body was laid in a, a, in what the was a, the, the Phillips family cemetery, um, and they were born just seven years after the end of um, slave trade. Yeah.